This is the Z pod then? This yeah, this is the Z pod here. It's a collection of these coils. Now, what exactly do the coils do? Well, it's just uh, windings. There's uh, a set of uh, two windings. And the primary is wired in parallel, and the secondary is wired in series. And what I do is switch the inputs and outputs, the input primary and the secondary. I switch those on and off. And I see an effect that's what I think is a over unity or free energy effect. So really this thing gives energy. off, this is an over unity free energy device then, when you fire these up correctly. Yeah, now, that's what I think it is. This is the Smart Pack 1210 workstation, right? Right. Does this power the Z-Pod at all, or is it completely different? Well, this is a test station, and what I want to do is take the electronics I developed here for the Z-Pod and then integrate it into the 1210 workstation. So the 1210 still has to be upgraded to handle the Z-Pod. So this is this is an example of a, what I call a pod. Yeah. So that plugs into the workstation then. That's, that's correct. Now once you fire this thing up, you can use these controls to manipulate it. It has stop, run, yeah, down, shoot. up, program, and test. Yeah. This comes from your experience working with microelectronics, right? Being able to program the integrated circuits. That's right. Yeah, there's a little microchip. It's on the main motherboard. Now, what would, a, what would a good indication be of this thing actually working for our unity free energy applications? Well, what's unique about the smart pack is that it computes input-output power, which then gives you what, what is called a COP. And if your pod is over unity, it'll be able to compute that. So this comes back to, this is almost in a way Bearden's widely touted coefficient of performance, and if it's over one, then you're doing over unity, right? Exactly. That's, that's amazing. So the system here computes that. So this is a pretty sophisticated deal then. You plug this coil in and it really tells you if it's doing over unity or not. Now will this work and this any... system here, you know, it'll display the COP information here. And um, the efficiency of this coil is somewhere around 80%. Oh, okay. So it'll it'll display... Again, this thing has what, four windings? Of two of them in series? Or two of them in it's parallel series? It's just a simple uh, coil core. Oh, okay. And just two pins that plug in. Interesting. Now, the Z-Pod is a four-pin device, and I'm still testing that. Okay, I'm, I'm still testing the system here. And these are all air coils, right? So you can no, shoot right... No, it's not it's, it's... Or hollow coils, I'm sorry. Some kind of hollow coil? Well, the, the core material is what they call permaloy 79. Oh, so these are toroidally wound. So they're not yes. actually hollow core because the core is in between all the windings exactly. there. So it's a torus. Yeah. Okay. So they're wired in series and parallel configuration. And what I want to do is integrate the electronics here uh, in, into the 1210.